Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make tallow lotion. So just a really fast little introduction about this recipe because it's very unique. To my knowledge, I did as much research as I could online, there isn't any other true tallow lotion where it's an emulsified lotion type product, like light, non-greasy, that kind of thing. So I wanted to try to make one. And it took some trial and error. I tried a few different things, but I finally found something that worked. And I've had it for quite a while and it stayed good and fresh and it works really well. I really like it. It's fun to just have something where you can just go by and grab a pump and just rub it into your hands and be on your way. I will say that in my mind, tallow balm is still the absolute queen of all the tallow products as far as moisturizing your skin, and that will forever be number one for me just because it is so absolutely pure and natural. To make a tallow lotion recipe actually work, you have to use some different things that I normally don't really like to go to, like emulsifying wax. I did add some stearic acid just because that's what's recommended for lotion recipes, even though tallow is already pretty high in stearic acid. And then a preservative. But, you know, it's fun to experiment and kind of play around and come up with something new. I have tried doing this recipe with just beeswax as the emulsifier, and that absolutely did not work. So I've, you know, played around and experimented with it a little bit, and this is the method that does work. So straying a little bit from my normal high standards of having skincare be absolutely edible, we're going to go ahead and make this tallow lotion, just for fun. It's fun to try something new and just see if it'll work, especially if nobody else has ever made it before. As far as skincare products go, and especially compared to anything you could buy commercially, even with these you know, ingredients like the emulsifying wax and the stearic acid, it's still a very natural skincare product. So we're really not compromising all that much. So let's jump in and get started making it. For this recipe, all of the ingredients are going to be by weight. I'm going to turn on my double boiler and get that heating up because we're gonna to need to melt the oil portion, the oil tallow portion. So for the oil tallow portion, I'm going to be doing a combination of half organic 100% grass-fed tallow. And then for the oil, I wanted to do something kind of fun and do carrot seed oil because it has a lot of great skin benefits itself. And I just thought that would be fun to use. So we're gonna do that. The total um, oil butter tallow portion is supposed to be 1.52 ounces. Okay, so then the rest is going to be our carrot seed oil, the other half. So all the way up to 1.52 ounces by weight. And I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more tallow just to bring it up the rest of the way just because, there we go, oh, it's perfect, right on. Okay, so then we're going to put this into our double boiler and I have the heat, yes, heat is on. So that's heating up. And then while that is heating up, I'm going to measure out the rest of my ingredients and add them because we also need those waxes in there too, the stearic acid and the emulsifying wax. I need 0 0.4 ounces of each of these. So 0 0.4. Okay, and then 0 0.4 ounces of stearic acid also. Or I'm sorry, the emulsifying wax. We already did stearic acid. And then while those are melting, we're also just going to measure out our water that we need. So that's zeroed out. And then we need 5.6 ounces of distilled water. Okay, and then we'll just set that aside for now. And we will wait as these things all melt and get absolutely combined. Okay, it looks like we're good to go. It looks like everything's melted and we're ready to go on to our next step. So I'm gonna take this out of the water. And then comes the exciting step where we gradually and slowly whisk in our water. There we go. And then I like to just kind of whisk for a little while just to 
make sure that it's all good. You'll notice that it looks pretty thin and watery and it will absolutely thicken as it cools. The first time that I used this emulsifying wax, I was like, oh no, it's not going to thicken. It's not going to be a nice lotion. It's going to be a soup. But I did not need to worry because it gets nice and thick as time goes on. This pitcher is still hot from the double boiler. And so it's going to cool very slowly. The next things that you want to add to it while you're in this mixing phase are your preservative and what you want to add for scent. In this case, I'm going to use some essential oils. So for a preservative, you can use something like Phenonip or you can use Optifin Plus for kind of a more natural version. You'll need 24 drops. Just to make sure that that's blended in well. And then for essential oils, you can do like a one, two, three, four percent dilution, depending on how strong you want it to be and whether it's meant for adults or children. I'm planning on using this um, probably for, my kids might want to use it sometimes and me. So I think I'm gonna go for a two percent dilution. I'm going to use this rainy days blend from plant therapy it is a beautiful scent i really really love it and then i always like to add some vanilla with a lot of the scents that i use so i'm going to do mostly this and then a little bit of vanilla it's going to smell so good so for a two percent dilution we need 96 drops of essential oils all together so i'm going to start in on that All right, and then the really nice thing about this being something that stays softer and more liquid until it has time to cool completely down is it's very easy to put it into all kinds of different containers. You can do like a silicone squeeze tube or you could do a pump like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into this pump. That smells really good. And I'll just pour that in. It's already starting to thicken up since it's already cooling down when it goes from the warm pitcher into the funnel. Okay, and then it's gonna continue to thicken and cool in here. So at first when it comes out, when it's not cooled all the way, you'll see it's, you know, nice and usable. And, you know, rubs right in, nice and light, smells so good. And then after it has sat for a while, like this one obviously that I made a long time ago, It'll come out like that, so nice and thick, traditional lotion consistency. Really fun to use. That's really the, you know, the whole point to this recipe is that it's just fun to make a lotion like that. Experiment with different kinds of the oil portion. It was fun trying carrot seed. And of course the essential oils for scent. Super fun to try different things and just come up with something new. So I really hope you had fun watching that. I really had fun coming up with that recipe for sure. Be sure and check out some of the other many different videos I have on my channel all about grass-fed tallow, its amazing benefits, all the many things that you can make with it, whether that's cooking or skincare and more. I'll have some links to those down below in the description box. I'll also have some links down below where you can get the ingredients and equipment that you need to make this yourself if you wanna try it. I'll also have a link to my blog post where there's a printable recipe card if you wanna grab that. I also wanted to mention, if you're new, that I have a member-exclusive password-protected subscriber library over on my blog. It's where all my free ebooks, checklists, printables, and everything are all in one spot, so there'll be a link below if you want to grab access to that. All right, if you like this video and found it interesting, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody else who you think might want to see how to make the one and only tallow lotion. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes or nutrient-dense food, natural remedies, and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.